Hi everyone, welcome to a slow day in my life. I'll be honest, the past month has felt super fast paced. There's been a lot going on in the background of my personal life, a lot of big decisions that I've had to make recently and that I'm currently in the process of making. I'm sure I'll tell you all about it soon, but until then, I want to take you through a peaceful pocket of my weekend and show you how I lean into mindfulness and sustainable self-care practices. I took my time waking up this morning. I didn't set an alarm. I just allowed myself to get up when I felt like it and that felt really nice. If you follow me on Instagram, you might already know this, but I've been allergic to cucumbers pretty much my entire life. I've avoided cucumber water, cucumber in my juices, all the things because it makes my throat very itchy. However, recently I had the urge to try cucumbers again because we got a few in our local farmhouse delivery box. And so I tried some cucumber water and to my surprise, I did not have a reaction. In fact, it was incredible. It was so refreshing. And so for the past few days, I've enjoyed cucumber water. I'm definitely pacing myself, but I think I've outgrown this allergy or something. So cheers to cucumber water, y'all. It's amazing. Of course, no morning is complete without my morning matcha. It's such a joyful ritual for me each morning and it's when I set my daily intention. Today's intention is to slow down and tune into my own channel. When everything surrounding me starts to feel noisy and overwhelming, that's when I like to go inward and get quiet. I really love rolling out my mat and just sitting out there with a notebook and a pen. I don't have any specific thing that I'm writing down or any specific expectations. I just allow myself to move my body, write down what thoughts come to my mind, and just let myself flow freely. No expectations, no judgment, just free flowing. And it's so therapeutic when I can hold space for myself to do that. And it doesn't have to be long. It can be literally five minutes, 10 minutes. Today, I did it for 40 minutes, but there's no rules. There's no guidelines. My personal approach is to just do what you can, when you can, and that makes everything feel accessible and doable and that I can get down with. It's about 90 degrees in Austin, so I'd say it's time for a shower. I want to take a moment to thank Grove Collaborative for sponsoring today's video. Grove is my go-to destination for sustainably and ethically produced everyday household goods. My shampoo and conditioner bars are from Grove. It also happens to be Plastic Free July, which is a great time to reevaluate our daily habits and see where we can reduce our waste. We're a pretty low waste household, but that's after years of consistent efforts and habit building. It's definitely not an overnight process. I am grateful to have the time and the resources to be able to support companies like Grove while also saving money and lessening my own environmental footprint. If you are looking to reduce your plastic consumption and swap in more sustainable items, definitely check out Grove. They are a wonderful resource and they're offering a free gift with purchase for all new customers. Their free gifts are actually things that you would want and actually things you would use. So trust me on that. I'm a big fan of their peach line, which is plant-based and 100% plastic free. You can save over four pounds of plastic each year just by switching to peach. This is my first time getting my hands on a refillable deodorant that works really well. I love the aluminum tube, and then you can refill the inserts when you run out. My makeup routine is pretty simple these days. I'm just putting on SPF as a base. I like to curl my eyelashes to make my eyes feel more open. I've been digging these lip to lid balmies from Axiology. It's a black owned brand and you can also find them on Grove. 
You all know that I love anything that's multi-purpose, multi-functional, so this definitely fits the bill. I can use it on my cheeks, my lids, my lips. And even though these crayons look really tiny, they're actually the same amount that you would find inside of a fancy packaged tube. So I love that they're zero waste and unpackaged. My sweet friend Miranda grew these peppers in her backyard and they are so delicious. I'm going to saute these and just kind of use up what I have in my fridge to make lunch today. There's a couple things that are on the verge of going bad and I just want to make sure I don't waste anything. I feel like y'all haven't seen my husband in a while, so here's Andrew, he's the best. He's watching Star Trek and designing a little flower for a logo that we're working on. And now it's time to pick up some dinner. Thank you all for coming along on this slow day in my life. If you're feeling overwhelmed or you feel like you have a lot of decisions weighing on you, just know that you're not alone. I hope this video provided you with a sense of calm so you can go out and carve out your own peaceful pocket. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.